Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you how I blend my 4C hair with the Kinky Coily U part wig. And for this hair routine, I'm going to be using her given hair, but I believe that it can be done with any other Kinky Coily hair. And this is a routine that I do every six to seven days. I start this routine off by co-washing the hair and by co-washing I just mean washing the hair with only conditioner and water. So first I soak the hair completely in water. Then I'll go in with a conditioner and right now I'm using this conditioner from Cantu. And then I'll just apply a generous amount throughout the whole entire hair. I then use my Denman brush to detangle the hair and this really really activates the curls making them look really defined and I just go section by section making sure that I get each piece of the hair and making sure that it's all detangled throughout. So this is actually how much hair that came out with me detangling. Sometimes I'll apply a little bit more conditioner after I've detangled and then I'll just rinse it all off. So this is how it looks after I've put the U-part on freshly washed hair and I recently chopped a bunch of my hair off so I was kind of nervous originally that I wouldn't be able to blend it because my hair is shorter now. Don't worry if your hair is short and not coily because I really think that you can still make it work. So next while the hair is still wet I just go ahead and apply this blueberry bliss cream and I honestly love this stuff because it makes the curls really defined and really pretty. It also makes a twist out turn out so good because really when I untwist my hair it looks exactly like this kinky coily curl so I definitely could have went a little bit lighter on the cream but the white residue eventually does dry off so it's okay now on to blending and as you can see I actually already did one side off camera and what I do is just divide each side of my leave out into four small sections and I'm going to work with just one section at a time I go ahead and put a little bit of the curl cream on my hair and then I just gather a small section of the wig and I'm just going to be twisting my hair with the wig hair until all of my hair has been twisted. I find that it makes the hair look so much more natural and my own hair is just merged in with the hair from the wig. So I just do that over and over again, just simply twisting all of my leave out with the wig and it's super easy. I'm going to show you a quick close up and one thing to note is that it's probably easier to take a little bit bigger of a piece from the wig in order to do the twisting. After I'm done with all of the twisting, I go in with an Eco Styler gel and just put some of my leave out and I just do this for a bit of a neater finish. I'll then go in with a boar bristle brush and just smooth it all out. Next, I'll take a satin scarf and just use that to press down my leave out overnight. And I'll also just stuff the hair in a satin bonnet overnight as well so it's all covered and that's it. So this is how the hair looks in the morning and because of how much cream I put, it's still a little bit wet. So I'll pretty much just leave it like this and then after a couple days, I'll just undo some, not all, but just some of the twist and then I'll use my hands or bobby pins to just blend them in. Alright guys, that is all. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope that this video was helpful to you in any way. If so, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!